Oh, the nerve. I mean, out of every card, every flippin' card he could have given me, it had to be this one. It had to be the one that goes to my deck. Ugh, this is so unfair. I can't even use this. Now, now, it's not like the card has any specific requirements. You technically can still use it. Toma, this is a card that goes to my deck. My deck. I don't want to use this with that pre-built garbage. I want to use this with my deck. It goes with my cards. Look, I understand that, okay? I have numbers that I want to use too. But we can't. Remember, we're on a mission here. We're posing as new students. We have to be weak. Toma, I know that. But this card, he gave me a number to my deck. I want to use it. And you can. There's no requirements for it. You just need two level fours. You can still summon that. Toma. No, if I'm going to use this, I'm going to use it right. I'm going to use my deck, or I'm not going to duel. You know what? No. Scratch that. I don't want to duel. I'm going on a walk. Wait. Maybe... Maybe you don't have to. Maybe... Maybe neither of us has to. Toma, obviously I'm joking. If we don't duel, we can't do the mission. That's not necessarily true. Remember what my deck's based off of? Y yeah? What? Oh, wait. Oh. What are you scheming? Let's just say I have an idea that if it works, neither one of us will have to lift a single card. You got that list? Yeah? Good. Let's go take that walk. Holy cow, what happened to our couch? It just keeps getting worse. And where did that Buddha come from? Uh, uh, coming! Oh, hello there. Um, I don't think I know you. Who are you? The name's Raccoon! And it rides uh... with Doom! And you're gonna be hurting all too soon! Doggazer, go! Dual Disc, activate! All right! Dual Disc, activate! Let's do Let's do Best of luck to you. Yeah, cause you're gonna need it against somebody like me! Well, anyways, um, what's your name and what can I help you with? My name is Damien. I'm looking for someone and I'm told that he lives in this dormitory. He goes by the name of Lynx. Lynx? Yeah, I know him. Wait, what do you need with Lynx? Oh, well, you see, he's my bestest friend, and I haven't seen him in such a long time. I really wanted to say hello. Bestest friend? Hey, that's my role. You're not his best friend. As a matter of fact, I've never seen or heard of you. Are you sure you know Lynx? Oh, so you're his best friend, huh? Well, then, you must have dueled him. Uh, well, yeah. I wonder... Are you any better than he is? Well, well, that... That's not your information. You don't need to know that. <laughs> All right, twerp. If you won't tell me where he is, then let's duel. I'll get both answers out of you. If I win, you tell me where he is, deal? Like that's ever gonna happen, but fine. Let's duel! Okay, so... What exactly should I be doing for this plan of yours? Nothing. Well, nothing? What even is the plan? Don't worry about it. I have everything under control. Just make sure I'm the one pulling the strings. You don't really need to do anything. Interesting. All right, then. But I still want to be informed. What are we doing? Fine, I will tell you. Basically, I'm going to go to two people on this list, and we're going to have a nice little chat with them. I'm going to convince them that the other said something horrible about them. In the end... Basically, I'm going to force them both to duel each other, and we just have to sit back and watch them duel and study. Toma Aikawa, you are a devilish man. <laughs> and I so do love that about you. Wow, did I just get a compliment? From you? I guess there's a first time for everything. Oh, shut up. La 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 la! Pardon me, but is your name Jeff? Uh, yes. Why? Who are you? Uh, uh, my name's Toma. I'm one of your fans. I... I have fans? Of course you do. You're a great duelist. 
Well, I mean, I don't want to brag, but I am an obelisk blue. I know, I, I am too. Uh, but Jeff, the thing is, some people don't think you're a good duelist. You see, there's this punk, and he's been going around saying some really bad things. Well, what do you mean? He's going around saying you're a crappy duelist. He says he could defeat you with his hands tied behind his back. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. And he even says, your mother built your deck. Ha! Ha! Of all the nerve! Wh who is this punk? I, I don't know. I don't know him, but from what I've heard, I think his name is Lynx. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay, yeah, wow, sure, all right. We do it once, and he's like on top of the world, better duelist. <laughs> okay, Lynx. Ah, oh, this is perfect. They've dueled before. I can use this to my advantage. Yeah, actually, he mentioned that duel. He said it was the easiest duel of his life. Hey, easiest duel of his life? That's right. In fact, he said it was so easy that even your best card was like a cakewalk. Oh, well, well, my best card, my best card's a number card, so, so, mm -hmm, I'm better. Well, can you prove it? Because he's challenging you. He is? Yeah. He wants a rematch to prove he's better. He said tonight after school. You gonna show up? You're darn tootin' I'll be there. I got something to prove. Alrighty then. And you tell that loser that I'm gonna kick his tush. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that for you, man. Thanks. You're a great fan. Aw, oh, man. Who was she? She was so strong. I can't even see her number. Oh. Oh, my God. Scott. Scott. Oh, my God. Uh, are you okay? What happened here? Lynx. I... I'm so sorry. I tried my best. Your best at what? What happened? He... He was looking for you, so I decided to do in your honor, but I failed. Who? Who was looking for me? I, I, I don't remember. It happened so fast. Maybe I can help with that. Okay, so what do you know? I don't know much. In fact, I can't even say what I know is true, but I know for a fact Someone's looking for you. Their name's Jeff. He said you've met before. Jeff? Jeff the redhead? Yeah. Yeah, we've met before. Once. We were dueling during the entry exams. Why? I don't know. But he's really got it out for you. He was making fun of your dueling techniques. He said you suck. And he said if he ever dueled you again, he would kick your butt. Effortlessly. W what? Why is he saying that? Uh, but he is, and he wants to duel you. He actually challenged you earlier. Seriously? Yeah, after school. Hmm. I don't know, man. He wants to duel. He's looking for you. Your best friend's roughed up. I'd say it's worth investigating. You're probably right. I should look into this. All right. I'm going to duel Jeff, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Well, good luck to you. Good afternoon, Nami. Good afternoon! What in the... No, no, it couldn't be. I, I have to be seeing things. What's up? I... I thought I just saw Ethan. What? Where? Well... Uh... He was somewhere over there. Never mind, it's impossible. He's still, you know... Yeah. Besides, he wasn't assigned to this mission, so there's no way he'd be here. I think you're imagining things. Maybe, but I can't think of a single reason why to imagine a sleazeball like that. Well, I can't imagine a single reason as to why he'd be here. So it really doesn't make much sense. Mm. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Who is that girl? And why do I sense such a mass amount of energy from a deck? I wonder, does she have a number? Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. But, um, may I please sit here again? Huh? Oh, it's you again. Yes, hi. Um, there's no seats left, so... 
I was wondering if maybe I could sit with you again. As much as Toma would love another distraction, I'm afraid that the seat has been taken. Fortunately for you, though, there are plenty of seats in the very, very back of the room. Far, far away from us. Thank you. Bye-bye. You can get going oh. now. Oh, my. I didn't know they changed the rules in here. What rule? Apparently they allow dogs in here now. There's no dogs in here. Excuse me, mister... I'm going to require you to take your dog outside. It's very, um, yippy. I am not a dog! <laughs> yeah, you make it mad enough, it'll start biting at you! <laughs> Why, you little... I am not a dog! <laughs> Quit calling me a dog, then! Fine, you know what? You're absolutely right. You're not a dog. You're a grizzly bear! Quit rubbing my head like a dog! All right, class, that's all for today. Oh, and one more thing I nearly forgot. Tomorrow we're holding a celebratory formal dance to celebrate everyone coming to the island. Yay. Don't forget to bring a partner. Or don't. You can be lonely. Just like me. Yay. Tell him, uh, are you sure this is going to work? Hey, I got them both here, didn't I? Just let the puppet master do his thing, okay? This is definitely gonna work out. <laughs> what? I knew I wasn't crazy before. Look! There's Ethan! What? Where? Over there! Look! Why? Why is he here? The better question is, how did he get here? He was in a coma. There's no way! It doesn't make any sense. We need to keep a low profile. And when we get back, we'll ask Godo. He has to know. But what if he doesn't know? Then we'll ask Ethan directly. Because he's here for something. And I don't like it. You ready to apologize for what you said? And for what you did to Scott? Only if you're ready to apologize for what you did! Also, wait, who is Scott? My God! You don't even know his name! Oh, now I'm really mad. Well, since I believe what you said is far worse than anything I said, I'm going to start us off. Now, I draw! Now, let's see here. Hmm. Ah, oh, perfect. I already see your defeat at hand. First up, I'm summoning a monster out in defense mode. And then, to end my turn, I'm going to place two cards face down. All right, it's my turn now. And because it's your turn, I'm activating a card. Bottomless Shifting Sand! When I activate this trap card now at each event of your turns, whoever has the highest attacking monster, that monster's automatically destroyed. Oh, boy. Isn't that just wonderful? Great. So now, no matter what I summon, if it's powerful, it's going to be destroyed at the end of the turn. And he played his monster face down. So now, I don't even know what that is, and it's not going to be destroyed. This is a problem. This is a serious problem. I only have one card in my hand that I can use, and it's Shine Knight. Shine Knight only has 400 attack points. No matter what that thing is, I'm going to take damage. But if it's a Marshmallow, I'll only take 100 points of damage plus 1,000. That's not terrible. And if Marshmallow gets flipped up, it may be weaker than Shine Knight, but that gives me a chance to destroy it later. If I summon something weaker than it, or use a card combo, I can get rid of Marshmallow. And without Marshmallow, he can't summon Leviathan Dragon! But if it's not Marshmallow, then who knows how much defense points that thing has. But if it isn't, it could also be stronger, which means it would be destroyed at the end of my turn. Oh man, this is a risky gambit. I have to do it though. I'll take damage, but maybe that thing will be destroyed, and that'll give me an advantage later. For now, I'm summoning out Shine Knight in attack mode! And now my Shine Knight attack is face down monster! <laughs> That's not Marshmallow! What is that thing? <laughs> this is my gate blocker! And while he's out on the field, you can't use field spells, you can't use spell counters, and you can't target any of my monsters with your special abilities! And did I mention the best part? My gate blocker has 2,000 defense points! And now it gets even better! My gate blocker only has 100 attack points! That's 300 less than your Shine Knight! Which means bye bye to Shine Knight! And now it's my turn again! So, ha! Now, since it's my turn, I only have four cards in my hand. Bottomless Shifting Sand is destroyed! And next, I think I'm going to summon our Gladiator Beast and all in attack mode! See, now that is a bear, Toma. 
Ah, I see. So is that your mama or your papa? I'll oh, kill no. you! I'm now activating a equip card! Mystical Moon! By activating this card, I can equip it to one beast warrior monster and it'll gain 300 attack! So I'll give it to Andal, so now it has 2,200 attack points! Go, Andal! Attack him directly! And now, Gate Blocker! Attack him as well! I may be down to my last 100 life points, but this duel is far from over! Draw! Alright, I'm gonna summon out Level Warrior, and since I have no monsters and you do, I can special summon this onto the field! So now, I tribute summon my level warrior in order to summon out Gunbar Lancer in defense mode! That Gunbar Lancer only has 2,000 defense points. That's not enough to defend you. Yeah, I know. I won't survive this turn. But, at least no one can ever say I didn't go out without trying. Well, I admire your spirit. Now, and I'll destroy his monster! Thanks for everything, Gunbar Knight! Now, Gate Blocker, attack him directly and win me this duel! So these are some of North Academy's duelists, huh? What a joke. <laughs> Still naive as ever. What a twerp. Tarama! That was a bust! Neither one of them summoned a number! Yeah, who would have predicted that his hand would have been crap? I didn't see that coming. <clears throat> what are we going to do? Your plan failed! Now, now, I didn't fail per se. We did get to see them duel a little bit. Besides, I can make this work. How are you going to make this work? Because I have a better idea. This time, we'll make him use the number. By doing what? Asking him? No. Forcing him into a situation where he has to. Like, for example, dueling me.